Ruth, Ruth, four. Then went Boaz up to the gate, and sat him down there, and behold, the kinsmen of whom Boaz spoke came by, unto whom he said, O oh, such a one, turn aside, sit down here. And he turned aside and sat down. And he took ten men of the elders of the city and said, Sit ye down here. And they sat down. And he said unto the kinsmen, Naomi, that is come again out of the country of Moab, sells a parcel of land, which was our brother Elimelech's. And I thought to advertise you, saying, Buy it before the inhabitants and before the elders of my people. If you will redeem it, redeem it. But if you will not redeem it, then tell me that I may know. For there is none to redeem it beside you, and I am after you. And he said, I will redeem it. Then said Boaz, What day you buy the field of the hand of Naomi, you must buy it also of Ruth, the Moavi, the woman of the dead, to raise up the name of the dead upon his inheritance. And the kinsman said, I cannot redeem it for myself, lest I mar eth my own inheritance. Redeem you eth my right to yourself, for I cannot redeem it. Now this was the manner in former time in Yashadael, concerning redeeming and concerning changing, for to confirm all things, a man plucked off his shoe and gave it to his neighbor, and this was a testimony in Yashadael. Therefore the kinsman said unto Boaz, Buy it for you. So he drew off his shoe, and Boaz said unto the elders, and unto all the people, Ye are witnesses this day, that I have bought eth all that was Elimelech's, and eth all that was Kilian's and Maclan's of the hand of Naomi. Moreover, Ruth, the Moavi, the woman of Maclan, have I purchased to be my woman, to raise up the name of the dead upon his inheritance, that the name of the dead be not cut off from among his brethren and from the gate of his place. Ye are witnesses this day. And all the people that were in the gate and the elders said, We are witnesses. Yahuwah maketh the woman that is come into your house like Rachel and like Leah, which too did build the house of Yahshareel. And do you worthily in Ephrathah and be famous in Beit Lachem. And let your house be like the house of Peretz, whom Tamar bore unto Yahda, of the seed which Yahuwah shall give you of this young woman. So Boaz took Eth Ruth, and she was his woman, and when he went in unto her, Yahuwah gave her conception, and she bore a son. And the women said unto Naomi, Blessed be Yahuwah, which has not left you this day without a kinsman, that his name may be famous in Yah Shadael. And he shall be unto you a restorer of your life, and a nourisher of your old age, for your daughter-in-law, which loves you, which is better to you than seven sons, has borne him. And Naomi took Eth the child, and laid it in her bosom, and became nurse unto him. And the women, her neighbors, gave it a name, saying, There is a son born to Naomi, and they called his name Oved. He is the father of Yishai, the father of David. Now these are the generations of Peretz. Peretz begat Eth Chetzran, and Chetzran begat Eth Ram, and Ram begat Eth et Aminidava, rather, Eth Aminadav, and Aminadav begat Eth Nachshan, and Nachshan begat Eth Selma, and Selma begat Eth Boaz. And Boaz begat Eth Oved, and Oved begat Eth Yishai, 
and Yishai begat Eth David.